Me and my wife, we decided that this year my wife will not going to come with me to Uman. Every year my wife is coming with me to Uman. We are taking a place over there in Uman. She doesn't go out in the days of the holidays. She's not going between the men. She's standing, staying in the apartment over there in Uman. Not against the rabbis, not against no one. She's flying with me because it's too hard for her to stay in, in, in Israel when I'm going to Uman. And she's staying in the apartment. This year, she said to me, I think I'm not going to come this year. I told her, you sure? She said, yes, I'm sure. Why? Yeah, it's too much. It's too expensive. Let's not do that. I'm going to be okay. We have a nice house here. We have friends here. I'm going to manage. It's going to be okay. Great. Wonderful. It was Motzei Shabbat. I had a flight in four hours that's supposed to leave. And then we we're finishing packing the suitcases and she started to cry. And okay, we're emotional. It's okay. We can cry. We were crying a little bit, a little bit, but, and then I told her, okay, so what, what do you want to do? She said, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to deal with the fact that you're going. I'm not able to deal with it. We're very close, my wife and I. So I told her, okay, so let's talk about it. Let's see what, what's bottom line. What's the conclusion of our situation? Do you want to come with me? Do you want me maybe not to go? Where, where are we holding? So she said, look, to tell you not to go for sure, I'm not going to say that. But I don't know how I'm going to stay here. I don't find myself able to stay. It's too hard for me. So I told her, okay, great. So now we need to make sure that you will come. We're talking about Motzei Shabbat. One day before of Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah was Sunday night. There's no time. I called my travel agent. I told her, hi, I need another three tickets to go to Uman on the same flight. She's saying, are you kidding me? I told her, no, that's what I need. She said, okay, let me check. She's opening the flight in the computer. And she said, I have two seats on your flight. I told her, it's also a miracle, but we need three. Because a few weeks before, a friend of us, Ariel, wanted to be with me on the same flight. And we checked, and there was last ticket on that flight. So now there were two. Okay, but it's not enough, because we needed three. My wife and two little children to come with her also. And... I told her, okay, maybe we're going to do something else. And then we started to check, maybe from another airport, maybe from, from another company. Let's, let's try. Maybe we'll cancel those tickets, going to purchase others. Tried everything possible. The answer was no. There were no tickets for all of us to go together. I said, okay, maybe you can call El Al. Maybe El Al is going to... Maybe on the phone, over the phone, someone going to answer you something else. He said, you know what, I'll try. If I, if I can help, I would love to try. And she's calling El Al and she's saying, okay, I'll, I'll be in touch with you. And, you know, the watch doesn't stop. <laughs> he's got this curse that you have to keep on running. And he's running and running and running and running and running. And I said to my wife, like, I, I told you that a few times, that that's... That's what I'm telling her. You know, I love you. She said, yes. I told her, okay, so now I'm going to do it with the dude. Because that's the only way to bring down salvation. When you don't have no way. So, she said, okay. And she started packing. And there are no tickets. And she started packing. And I went out. And I was crying to Hashem. And I told him, Hashem, please. I remember once everything that I was asking you, you would answer me. Everything that I was asking you would answer. Now, why are you not answering me now? I'm begging, please. And I'm crying. And I got angry. And I said to Hashem, Hashem, don't make me angry. Let's, 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 let's solve this thing. I don't want to fight with you. It's the eve of Rosh Hashanah. Let's be friends. Let's start the new year in a positive way. <laughs> And then she's calling me, this uh, travel agent, and she's saying, look, they answer after 30 minutes. I'm sorry, they answered. The answer is no. They have only two tickets. Nothing different between what the computer is showing to what... The... And I told her, okay, look, I don't know what to say. I must have that ticket, those three tickets. So 
I'm going to call you again. We'll see. And I hang up the phone and I really was crying again with Hashem. I told him, why are you doing that? Please help me. Please, 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 please. And then it came to me to send her a, a, a text. Maybe send me the phone number of El Al. Maybe I'm going to try to, you know, you don't have nothing to do. So you have to do something. So I told her, maybe text me the El Al phone number and maybe I'll call. And she texted. She said, good luck. And I finished my one hour it the dut. I made another half an hour it the dut. And then I called. I dialed, I went back home, and I heard that music of El Al, and it's playing and playing, and the watch is running and running and running and running and running. And then after something like another half an hour, they answered from El Al, told her, Shalom, Shalom. I, need, I have four tickets on flight tonight. And they need another three. She said, okay, what's the flight number? I told her. She said, okay, I have three tickets. Should I book them for you? I said, yes. And she booked them. And there is no way to explain it. Except of that Hashem can do whatever He wants. <laughs>